guys welcome back to the channel and uh, I hope you all good uh, so in this video I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the undervolting stuff and if you haven't watched my one of the previous video about undervolting I, I definitely suggest you to watch that first and I'm gonna put that video link in the description okay go and watch that and then uh, you should come to this video and uh, you will find out like what I'm gonna explain here okay and if you already watch then uh, you should definitely watch this video till the end and I'm gonna give you a detail in a nutshell okay talk about the undervolting stuff and uh, for this I use definitely throttle stop and uh, here as many people ask like uh, set uh, 50t as you can see right here like uh, why I have checked here and uh, if you should check this or not then definitely I do not care about this because the current generation of Intel CPUs like 8th, uh, 9th and 10th gen or maybe next 11th gen CPUs of Intel they really do not get affected by this and uh, there is nothing to relate with the performance gain or anything else so if it's checked or not that's just up to you okay and uh, I only gonna suggest you to please make changes to your first profile whatever you're gonna make uh, undervolting changes you're gonna make because I created two profiles please do not go like as uh, as my profiles okay because that can cause a little confusing uh, confusion in your mind okay so create uh, changes in first profile so when you you know turn on your throttle stop and uh, plug in your charges so your first profile will definitely get applied okay so i'm gonna show you in first profile uh, which is my second one game as you can see right now on the screen okay so make changes uh, to do under robotics stuff you have to click on fivr and uh, here you can see right here CPU core and cage in these two profiles you have to make changes and uh, as you can see on the screen I have a value of minus 105 and CPU cache obviously the same so these are the value that I found uh, from my laptop are pretty uh, you know good and stable so I'm not getting any kind of uh, BSOD which is blue screen of death now one more question people ask me like uh, okay we are still not able to manage the temperatures now what should I do then I definitely uh, gonna tell them to lower this clock down uh, the clock speed to 4.1 gigahertz because i7 10th gen can uh, you know boost the old core up to 4.3 gigahertz which is uh, okay but uh, 4.1 and 4.3 that will not make any kind of you know drastic difference in the performance so I definitely suggest you to uh, go to like 4.1 gigahertz which is from here on the first core you have to move it to like 4.1 and uh, then you can uh, go a little bit more down to like 125 as you can see right here in my first profile uh, this is what I have done here so uh, this is the profile but I'm not suggesting you to you know create two profiles that can really cause a little confusion to you so make changes to your first profile which is this one and uh, I have two profiles so please do not get confused by that okay many people are really getting confused by this make changes to single profile and set that as a default and as it is okay that uh, and you uh, always use this profile so in whichever you make these changes okay now and uh, after making these all changes uh, please uh, also here okay say voltages immediately and hit apply then okay I'm gonna cancel it because I've already by mistake uh, not by but uh, to show you I've changed these, uh, these values here so that's why I'm gonna click here on the cancel okay so now this is done and some people have questions like uh, I have i7 10th gen as the same CPU and uh, but I'm running RTX 2070 definitely buddy this will uh, you know undervolting values will definitely vary for you because you are running, uh, running a higher end GPUs and maybe higher end voltage maybe 135 watt or maybe 125 but my RTX is 115 watt and maybe and uh, definitely I will only suggest uh, to every uh, people out there who definitely want to do undervolting and control their temperatures so there is a one suggestion for them to you know use a starting value of minus 80 millivolt because that's gonna be stable for every CPU out there I'm not telling every but 8th and the new generation 8th 9th 10th and 11th gen uh, I don't know much about 11th gen but till 10th gen I can tell you to start from 80 millivolt if that's gonna be stable for you then uh, you can decrease a little bit more like uh, 0.5 millivolt and uh, for every time and do a little bit of test uh, and to do the test you can click here on the TS bench and uh, 96M that just depend upon you like how much time you have to do this so you can do according to that or maybe run a heaviest game in your system on the current on that current time so that you can know if that uh, the, if the value that you have applied are you know 
uh, stable for you or not and uh, to try it till then until you get the blue screen of death and wherever you're gonna get the blue screen of death uh, and where you will get the blue screen of death and then increase the value a little bit. Uh, suppose you get the blue screen of death at like minus 120 millivolt. Okay, then just uh, decrease it to like minus 115. That will be a pretty good option for you. And uh, try on that value. And if that uh, will stay normal for you, I think you are good to go with those values. And uh, every time you will open the throttle stop and your first profile will automatically get applied. And uh, you do not, do not have to make any other changes. So this is it for the undervolting stuff and if you have any question please definitely uh, comment in the comment section i would love to reply and please guys here let's see this man like 98 percent public who is watching my videos are not subscribed please guys just show me a little support from your side that i so i can you know stay more motivated to do a lot more work so in a current time i'm not able to upload a continuous video because a lot of mess going on around in my surroundings so but i will back to this soon and uh, we'll try to make as much good content as possible okay so this is it for this video if any uh, help you need please do comment and definitely don't forget to share and subscribe so i'll catch you in the next one too take care for now bye bye